Good morning, folks. One of the prettiest filament eruptions I've seen kicks off a news day of big hits. We've got climate and catastrophism, disses and diamonds, and we're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on the sun and on the right, northern hemisphere. The filament eruption occurs, another collapses on the north polar crown, the coronal holes are turning through with their solar wind enhancements about three days away. Next, I want to do a multispectral view of the filament eruption without tilting to look prettier going up and down. The eruption did go off the side, out ahead of Earth's orbit by about three months, another one about 90 degrees away from Earth. Folks, in terms of eruptive power, it's about 100 to 200 times weaker than an eruption that would cause significant concern. But again, a gorgeous display of plasma dance by our star. If any of you want a visualization of the solar wind plasma streaming past the planet, this auroral show from Karuna shows the ambient stream enhanced by that CME impact a few days ago. Actually quite easy to picture the plasma streams and density variations. We're going back to La Palma here, where lava flows increased and the magnitude of seismicity has jumped up again, creeping higher and higher, folks. But also Africa had more quakes than usual of late. Kind of anxious to see if that region elevates as well. Stepping out to the science articles where the largest haul of FRBs from one source was recently reported. That level of activity precludes all one-off events and really makes trouble for the asteroid bombarding neutron star explanation. FRB mystery gets even weirder. Now we're seeing a significant connection up next between the Gulf Stream and the Kuroshio current, a decadal cycle of synchronization through the jet stream. First important thing to know, all decadal variations in the atmosphere have been tied to the decadal solar cycle and that jet stream itself that's well known to be tied to solar activity. The timeline and the specific mechanism of the jet stream working in that paper, when applied to the previous peer-reviewed literature, suggests that the sun significantly controls these currents in the ocean, which means the sun is also a major trigger for abnormal and extreme heat events at seasonal scales. By the way, I noticed the new Wikipedia climate banner yesterday, and I swear it's even worse than the last one. Now we're being told that modern climate change is unprecedentedly fast compared to the time before industry. Seems they haven't heard of the Le Champ event, the Toba event, or just 12,000 years ago when mammoths were frozen so quickly that food was preserved fresh and undigested in their mouths and stomachs. I think the Brandon administration wrote that one. I like this next paper, even if you have to walk around the track twice to get to the finish line. They are realizing that there must have been extremely higher magnetism in the early solar system than they thought before, and that the bulk of the early disk of the solar system was eliminated by a substructure within the disk due to the magnetized solar wind. Folks, that would be the infant Parker spiral current sheet rippling wave-like substructure of the electric field, same as exists in the galaxy. Last article of the day falls into the same category as the Beaufort Gyre story. The gyre tried to unload and then started sticking again, by the way. But here, we basically see the next Heinrich event unfolding. Thick sea ice is readying to lose blocks into the lower latitude waters. And while the article itself is a global warming shell factory, we know it will begin to deliver the final blow to that Gulf Stream, to the overturning circulation, to the tropical hydroclimate paradigm of today and the calm interim between disasters. The next Heinrich event of ice release into the North Atlantic, which has frozen the world many times, may start it all off this round. Folks, do you remember that video where we showed that the top of the top, according to people who don't really matter, are not only bucking the system, but are prepping for disaster. Both are still going. Pitbull at a concert. Hey, Rihanna, well played. But in terms of disaster preparation, we're seeing that spread continuing especially from the non-pop characters. Chuck says, be ready. And of course, there was this. The fragility of this planet, yes, the yeah. coming uh, catastrophic event, and we all have to clean this act up now. Yes, the yeah. coming uh, catastrophic event, and we all have to clean this act up now. Veteran observers, little head nod on that one. For the rest, check right below the absurd Wikipedia box to find links to our playlists. These three links can essentially cram over a decade of science and discovery into one day. It'll tell you what Mr. Shatner was talking about. And this is one of those places where a little input effort produces exponentially grander results in understanding. We greatly appreciate your support. 
We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.